Hi guys, today is a very lazy Sunday morning. The main reason being it's raining heavily outside. Let me just show you here. This is Mumbai since last many hours, so I cannot really go out. So I decided to solve a study. It was put by Emil Sutowski on his Facebook wall. It's composed by Kovalenko. And when a player like Sutowski says that a position is interesting, it should be because of their experience in solving so many positions over the years. So have a look at this position and see if you can crack it. So this is the position uh, composed by Kovalenko in 1970. It's white to move and draw. Take your time on this. Try to solve this completely before looking at the solution. I did it in my head. I took this position and I was walking on the road. I was doing some work and I solved it that way. It took me some time, but it was a very pleasant feeling to sort of break this down. So I'm going to recommend you to do that only after you've seen the, uh, only after you've solved it, you see the answer. Okay. So now let's have a look at what is happening here. Uh, first of all, you can't move the knight because let's say you move the knight, there's a queen check and already black is winning. Moving the king also seems unlikely because once you move the king, the bishop can move out uh, and, and the queen can come out. So that doesn't look good. But the first move has to be a rook move and the first move that comes to your mind is rook h8. And you see that the queen is trapped. The queen has to take the rook, knight takes, king takes. And somehow this position is completely lost for white. You can think about king h6, then after king g8, this pawn and the bishop protect each other and white is completely winning. But this variation gives you an idea that if the bishop moves out from here, then this rook h8 is working. So basically, let's say I make a waiting move like say rook a8 and he plays bishop f3, just moves the bishop. Now rook h8 just draws the game because the queen is trapped. You must take the queen, knight takes, king takes and after king g6, I got it, what I wanted. So that's the reason why now the question comes is how to make the waiting move. What is the waiting move that will give us the draw? And bishop cannot move. So, you know, you would say make any waiting move. Bishop cannot move. Queen cannot move. King taking the knight is not good. But don't assume. Let's imagine you play rook 8. I take. You will think check. King g8. Of course, taking the queen means it's lost because he has an extra pawn and a bishop. So, you give another check. King g7 check and now goes king h8 this is the point and this is what you have to see how black is going to play for a win after rook 8 check there is queen to g8 and uh, here is where uh, you need a little bit of imagination when you look at this position you begin to think hmm if i take here this is just losing but can i do something where i can stalemate like Right now everything is sort of jammed up. The bishop cannot move because I will take and take on g6. So let's say a move like king h6 comes to your mind. But after queen a8, this is not a stalemate because the king can come out. And that is when you realize that hey, if the queen was on d8 somehow, then this is a stalemate position. I remove this rook. Thinking in this way, sort of. You know, like going into a variation, thinking a little bit imaginatively will give you the answer that actually the rook had to be played in this position to d8, right? Because then it would be on the d file. So now if bishop moves, you have rook h8. So if you take, now check, king g8, check. King g7, rook d7, king h8, check. And after queen g8, you find the move king h6. And black has no way to make any waiting moves. Uh, if you move the bishop, I'll just take. And this is hanging. And after you take, 
this is stalemate so that's how uh, friends you solve this problem i showed you the most ideal way in which you can do it uh, and i'm no genius so it takes me time to break this down but there are people who solve this in 30 seconds and stuff which is simply uh, amazing Rook b7 is one move that I thought for a long time because I felt that the queen is sort of trapped. It can't go to h8, knight will take it. It can't go to g8 because of this check and overall. But there was a very strong move here which was bishop f3 attacking the rook and queen h5 coming up next. So that didn't work and finally this is the only move that works. I hope you enjoyed it and that you solved it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed solving this problem and if you were able to get the right answer, please let us know in the comment section. Also let us know how much time it took you. I would say it took me around 15-20 minutes to solve it but I was not using a chessboard. I was walking on the street blindfolded uh, in my mind. So let us know how you did and we'll get back to you in the comments.